one that time once again got an interesting one for you. You know, I love covering indie film because it's always interesting to see how different filmmakers approach telling their stories. And we've got one for you that I thought took a unique approach to uh, telling their story. It's called Dog Bites Man. It's Britain, brought to us by Vincent uh, Zambrano. And we have the story of Darm and Evo. And these two are just going to their cabin uh, to enjoy each other's company for the weekend. You know, they don't want to be bothered by anyone. Uh, you know, even put the phones down and everything. Just kind of enjoy each other's company. But when one of them is attacked by a local dog, they lock themselves in the cabin and a debate whether or not they should leave and end their vacation and give in to the pressures that they seem to be getting from uh, the locals or if they should tough it out to make a point that they will not be scared uh, by them. And we see how this, as well as many other topics, are covered between the banter between Darm and Evo as they wonder what their next action is going to be. Um, yeah, this plays out like a stage play more so than a film. While it is shot on film, it's two performers uh, and a lot of dialogue and back and forth in one setting as they cover different subjects. And so for me, it almost felt like I was watching more of a stage play. And that's not a bad thing. Just was interesting. Didn't expect that approach to it because you don't see it often. But it made it, I think, I don't know, a little bit more personal and also a little more grounded maybe in reality a bit as this is more like a play. So, you know, I thought it was an interesting aesthetic approach. It all looked good. Uh, it is lit kind of like a stage as well with the sense and that. Uh, but uh, I thought it looked really well done and the audio was great. And yeah, the production design was just a unique approach. And then Darm and Evo. Darm is played by Andrew Rogers and Cade Morrison plays Evo. The dynamic between these two was interesting because you kind of see a shift after a while. First, we have one who is just scared. They're, they're, they're really scared. They just want to leave. And the other one's like, no, we're not leaving. We're staying and we're just going to enjoy this weekend and try to ignore uh, the crazy locals outside. <laughs> you know, and uh, they bring up discussions of uh, their emotions, of relationships, of the challenge of their relationship in today's world of, <laughs> you know, how many people still uh, challenge uh, the, their love uh, between these two folks. And yeah, a lot of that comes up. So if you're not into heavy dialogue films, uh, this may not interest you. But I found it very interesting how it played out. And then every so often it reminds you there is a threat outside, a rock through a window or whatnot. And they also remind you occasionally that there's ice cream in the fridge that they really, really would love to have some, <laughs> which made me want some ice cream in all honesty. But yeah, we watch how uh, that dynamic changes, how uh, these two work things out, not only with uh, their own social political uh, views and such, but also work things out with each other. And, and then by the end of it, you feel like you've gone on a journey of uh, self-realization with these folks. And uh, yeah, did they come out on the other end stronger? Well, that's going to be up to you to find out. I think this is a very interesting uh, film. It's a feature film, but it's going to be for select taste. If you don't like dialogue heavy character driven uh, uh, pieces that are like a stage play, you may want to avoid it. But if you like your stage plays, then you may want to check out Dog Bites Man, uh, a very interesting approach to uh, some very interesting topics that I'm sure will get you thinking long after the film ends. So thank you so much for watching. If you've seen Dog Bites Man, I'd love to hear your comments on it. I'll put as much information as I can down below. As always, like, subscribe, bells and whistles, all that here. We're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers or more before the end of 2024. Can only do that with your support. So I appreciate every single one of you. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stuff.